guys, my name is Brent Tsai and welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of The Beer List. Today we have one from Eden Mill called The Partridge Stout. So, nice little, looks like a Scottish guy in the front with a, a bonnie hat and a, everything else on. Looks really cool. Um, on the back it says, In the 17th century, students of St Andrews enjoyed Meal Monday, a day off to replenish their supply of oats. Uh, the diet consisted of partridge and beer. This hearty ale, thick, sweet and dark, is brewed with oats. Enjoy slowly. Let's try it. I don't know, as you guys know, I'm not one keen for stouts, but Eden Mill said, Alex, try our partridge stout, see what you think. So, um, it's really dark and, and gloomy and, yeah. Hmm. Smells really heavy. So I'm probably not gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but this is not my appetite. Yeah, it's really stouty, it's really oats, it's really really heavy. It's got a bit of like sort of dark chocolatey, treacly flavours to it. So it's not like disgusting, disgusting. It's not like the, the Sacrease Bro that I had like uh, a couple weeks ago, which was horrible, like just everything. It was, yeah, it's it's, it's good. That's it's, no, it's not good. To me, it's like, yeah. Give it like my burning. I don't, I don't know. I don't like it. Which means now, obviously, I have to rate it out of 100. So. I'm going to explain to you guys how I do the rating because people are like, Alex, why did you just pick a random number out of 100? I don't. There's four categories I judge them on. Each category is rated out of 25 or 2.5 if, if it was on a scale of 10. But that's flavour. So how it tastes or how I feel it tastes. The aftertaste, uh, what the after tastes like. Um, is it bad? Is it good? That sort of thing. Potential, how much potential this drink can have to other people, not just myself and also price. So, I'm going to start giving you guys the ratings out of 25 and then just put the overall rating on the screen while I wait for my boards, which are still not here yet, which is really annoying. But, price. This cost me £2.60 for a bottle. A bottle was £2.60. So, really good for price. I'll probably give it about a 20 um, out of 25, so that's what it's starting at. Now, potential. No, sorry, we'll go for flavour first. Personal flavour, I didn't really like it. I didn't enjoy it. I'm only going to give it a 10. So it's 10 out of 25, so the total is now 30. Um, aftertaste, I thought it was disgusting. It's getting a five. So now we're up to 35. Wow, I gotta do a lot of maths for this, right? And potential, this does have a lot of potential. If you want for oily beers or heavy beers or stouts, I think, about 21. So that gives us to a 56, which places it fourth on the list. So, I mean, it's not obviously my cup of tea, but I can understand people who drink uh, sort of heavy ales or, or, or stouts or oat beers might enjoy this. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have, feel free to smash the like button. If much you can, greatly appreciate it. If you are new around here as well, please make sure you hit subscribe. If you have any beer suggestions for next time, please make sure you let me know what they are in the comment section down below. Also feel free to check all my social media, links there will be in the description. Top link in the description is the link to my Discord if you guys want to join that. I'm in there chatting to you guys all the time as well, so if you want to do that, top link is the one to click. Other than that guys, so until next time, I've been the Prime Side, and I'll see you in the next one.